So let's talk about what you can do to increase lead flow. So sometimes we feel like we've, we've run the course, right? Where we've got all of this stuff dialed in, we're happy with the leads, we're getting good ROI, but how we increase volume? How we go from 50 leads a month to 100 leads a month, or from 100 leads a month to 250 leads a month? Um, and of course, it's limited by the amount of search, the amount of calls within any given area, but there's, there's usually a lot more meat on the bone than people realize. There's a couple things we found that can really, uh, really increase the amount. So first of all is to open up your budget, right? I showed you that little toggle switch to increase the budget. Um, I think if you can take more leads and you've got the capacity, you, you increase the budget. That's the easiest way to increase your, your lead flow. The second is to expand your service area, the types of jobs, the ad schedule, and the business hours. So what do I mean by that? So let's say all you have selected is uh, plumbing and drain cleaning. There's lots of other jobs you can select within the dashboard. You should really think hard. Would it make sense to increase the amount of jobs that we're willing to take? Because when you increase that, the amount of things you can show up for increases, and ultimately the, the number of calls. Um, your service area. Sometimes it makes sense to just kind of expand the service area just a little bit. And sometimes you can you know stretch into a new pocket of population where there's lots of search volume, which can increase the amount of calls. Um, you can expand your ad schedule. I, it's amazing, I've seen a couple times where we were going from a very limited ad schedule, let's say from 7.30 to 3.30 p.m. A lot of contractors run in that time frame. Um, I was like, okay, we want more leads. And so we just increased that from 3.30 all the way to, to 8 p.m., right? Just, just increasing the availability and the time frame when you're available can really expand the amount of leads that you get from local service ads. So there's lots of little dials that you can tweak and you can expand to, to generate more leads and to kind of open the, open the mouth of your lead flow from local service ads a little bit. Um, make sure that you close out every lead, and I kind of beat the dead horse with this, but we're talking about call comes in and mark it. Was it booked, was it scheduled, was it archived, or was it uh, um, disputed? And then, ver and then request the verified reviews on every job, right? So that does require you taking the, the phone call, you getting the email address. It's really important because sometimes you just get the phone number, you book the job, you kind of close it out, but you can't request a review because you didn't get that email address. So you got to get the email, you got to have the person go into the platform and push out that review request. So really, where, where do we go from here? Uh, what do we do next? Um, first of all, if you haven't signed up, Make sure uh, for local service ads, make sure you get with your strategic partner if you're a client, uh, or you can go to uh, adwords.google.localservices slash sign up, and they'll get some basic information from you, and then they'll follow up, uh, assuming it's available in your market already, and they'll start to have you do your background checks to get vetted and to get added. Uh, complete the background set checks. Put the tracking in place. Like, you don't go into this um, in a vacuum, just be like, hey, they're cheap leads, so we're going to get great return on investment. Like anything else, make sure that you're tracking how much do we spend, how many leads did we generate, how much revenue was there, and make sure that there's positive ROI. It's like anything else. Sometimes, you know, it, it starts out good and then it starts to diminish, right? So just make sure that you've got the tracking in place. Um, be sure that you're leveraging the platform, that you're actually knowing how to get into the local service ads area. You understand how to look, get to the reviews. You understand how to close out your jobs, and you're really following through on the entire process. And then play the game as long as it makes sense. I mean, who knows where this goes from here? Right now, it makes a ton of sense. Right now, low cost per lead, great quality. You know, no reason if you've got a great company to, to not monetize the heck out of these leads. But where could it go, right? Could it be like pay-per-click where Google starts to make it an auction process? Well, okay, right now it's $25 a lead, but if the big dog in your area is willing to pay $150, you know, maybe, maybe they move to that model. And if that's the case, the ROI might not make sense. So just play the game while the getting's good, right? Get in there, be aggressive, play the game as effectively as you can. And remember, this is just one part of your overall internet marketing strategy. I really believe not one strategy should drive your entire online marketing play, right? 
you've got a lot of things that work together to really help you dominate your local area and maximize your lead flow. So make sure you're tapping into it, make sure that you're playing it the right way, but don't forget about all the other strategies like SEO and pay-per-click and other pay-per-lead services and social media and email marketing that you can tap into to really keep a consistent flow of high quality leads flowing into your business. Well, I hope you got value from that video. If you'd like more ideas, strategies, and techniques on how to really more effectively market your plumbing or HVAC business online, I'd like to invite you to go to plumberseo.net slash checklist. Uh, there we've outlined the ultimate online marketing checklist for plumbing and HVAC contractors to, to really maximize your lead flow online. This really simplifies the entire online marketing equation into a checklist that you can easily identify what you should do next and what you could do to really probably double, triple, or even 10x the number of leads you're getting for your plumbing or HVAC business online. So you can get that completely free of charge, simple one-page checklist with a video that explains and kind of walks you through it. Just go to plumberseo.net slash checklist. Talk to you soon.